Hey, what is going on, Life Groups? Um, I hope you guys had a great Easter time and uh, had a great time with your families. Uh, celebrating the Lord, man. We, we talked all about uh, the cross and the resurrection in the last few weeks, and really that's the main thing. That's what we're all here for. I want to remind you what Paul said in 1 Corinthians. He said, uh, in speaking about the resurrection in chapter 15, he said, Now I would remind you, brothers, of the gospel that I preached to you, which you received, and which you stand, and by which you are being saved, if you hold fast to the word I preached to you, unless you believed in vain. For I delivered to you of first importance what I also received, that Christ died for our sins in accordance with the scriptures, that he was buried, and that he was raised on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. The resurrection of Jesus is the single most important thing that has ever happened in the history of all history, in the history of the entire universe. Uh, we, we started this Sunday briefly talking about the cross, and uh, the cross, uh, we talked about it last week, but man, the cross was so brutal, and it was so gut-wrenching, and it was so heavy. Um, and the cross is the expression of God's love to us. Uh, without the cross, man, we don't have just all the impact of God's love and everything that he did on our behalf. However, without the resurrection, you just have a martyr story. Without the resurrection, Jesus is just the same as every other martyr for every other religion, for every other cause uh, in the world. Uh, the resurrection is the linchpin of our faith. It is of utmost importance uh, because if Jesus died and literally died. His heart stopped. His blood drained. I mean, his brain waves were stopped. If Jesus died and then was raised from the dead, then what he said is of utmost importance and utmost truth. He backed up his claims, right? So if Jesus really died and rose from the dead, then everything he said is of utmost importance. And he is who he said he was. But if he did not raise, then He's basically a lunatic, and we uh, are doing all the things that we're doing as a church and as Christians. Uh, Paul talks about it in 1 Corinthians 15. He says, if Jesus is not raised, then our preaching's in vain. Your belief is in vain. All your loved ones who have died are just dead, and that's it. There's no resurrection. There's no hope. Um, and so the resurrection of Jesus is of utmost importance to every Christian. And I think that's where we have to get back to in Christianity. We have to get back to the center and understanding that everything we believe hinges right here. And this is people's biggest disbelief uh, with uh, Christianity is, is really, you know, believing that this event really happened. People believe Jesus existed. They believe he was a good guy. They believe he taught good things. Uh, most historians even believe, yeah, we have record. He died. He died on a cross. He was crucified. But the resurrection is where people differ. That's where people doubt. And they have to, because like I said, if it's true, it changes everything. And so we talked about in the sermon, we talked about all the theories around what people say. You know, people say, oh, he didn't really die. People say people were hallucinating, that there was a mass hallucination, um, that, that, that people were just imagining they were seeing Jesus. Uh, that people say that they uh, stole the body, that the Jews stole the body, or the Romans stole the body, or the disciples stole the body. And we, we talked through each and every one of those things and discounted them. You know, really, the, it comes down to number one, people don't die for lies, right? And the disciples would not die, give their lives and the lives of their families for something that they knew was a lie, something that they believed was false. Uh, and then the other thing is, all the Jews had to do was parade the body. All the Romans had to do was parade the body. But the fact is, there was no body. There was no body for them to go and get because Jesus indeed rose from the dead. Now that changes everything for us. We know that God loves us because of the cross, but now because of the resurrection, we have hope. We have a joy. We have something to look forward to. Everything that Jesus said is true. So we are justified. 
in our faith. We are redeemed by his blood. We are set free from the power of sin and death. We do have victory over sickness and, and disease. We do have victory over sin. Man, we, we are redeemed. We are justified. Uh, we are uh, righteous. We are the righteousness of, of God now. And it's all because the resurrection. So in your groups, I want you to, uh, to talk about some of these things, uh, these doubts. I think everyone has doubts. Everyone struggles. Uh, and even in the sermon, I shared some of my doubts concerning the resurrection. Uh, but have you ever struggled believing God loves you? Uh, and how did you deal with that? How did you overcome that? How, do, how are you dealing with that? Uh, talk about these things in our group um, and talk about how the cross impacts uh, those beliefs and how the cross should impact those beliefs. Talk about the resurrection. Talk about uh, how important of an event that is in the world. Not just not just our faith, but in the world. Uh, it is the single most important thing that has ever happened. But do you have doubts? Do you have struggles believing that it actually happened? This is should be a safe place that you can express those things and we can talk through them together. Because I would wager uh, a lot of us have the same doubts, we have the same reservations, but we're so afraid to maybe voice them. Uh, be encouraged. God has big shoulders, and he's well aware of your doubts already, and he can handle them. Um, but talk about the, the resurrection and what benefits we have because of the resurrection. I want you and your group to read through uh, 1 Corinthians 15. It's a very challenging uh, chapter, but it's awesome, it's deep, and there's a lot of uh, talk about the resurrection. And then finally, I want you to talk about how should the resurrection change the way that we live our lives and walk out our faith. We'll catch you next time, guys. God bless you. Happy Easter. He lives.